Can you keep rabbits and chickens together? Yes you can and today I'm going to tell you why I think it's a really good idea. Whether you're keeping your rabbits in a colony, which means that they've basically got shared housing and free reign and they run around together, or if you're keeping your rabbits in cages, either of these options can be made to work so that you can keep rabbits and chickens in together. And we have done both options and both work really, really well. The main consideration is if you're breeding rabbits, you do need to keep the chickens away from the nests. Chickens are amazing hunters and they will hunt your baby rabbits just as well as anything else. So there are some solutions to that. One would be remove your does from the colony setup before they have their babies which is less than ideal it's not the best option two would be to provide like an underground burrow or even just a big long pipe leading to the nesting boxes that the chickens can't get down the chickens might physically fit down the pipe but they're really unlikely to go down whereas the rabbits will usually lay a nest lay a nest build a nest at one end and then at the entrance of the tunnel they naturally cover them up if they're in deep bedding or if they have access to the dirt they'll naturally cover the entrance to their nest. If you're keeping your rabbits in hutches or cages and you've got them up off the ground chickens can quite easily live in underneath them and in fact it works really well because on a deep bedding system poop and pee from the bunny houses drops down onto the deep litter so does their pellets that they knock out or any grass that they don't want it all falls down into the deep litter and the chickens can eat the pellets they can eat the grass and they will kick around and scratch and dig and bury the poop and pee into the deep litter so you'll find overall the whole system actually smells a lot less if you keep the two together than they do if you keep the two separately. There's nothing to panic about if the chickens and the rabbits eat each other's food. Both of them eat around an 18% feed. You can feed either of them whole grain options. They, for the most part, eat a very similar diet. So it's not the end of the world if they eat each other's food. And they will both love having greens out of the garden or weeds or grass they'll both enjoy eating those i have even seen a video of a rabbit drinking from a chicken nipple waterer you know the ones with the wee dangly dingling bit i've seen a rabbit very successfully drinking from those for the most part they can share the same water systems they the rabbits will happily drink from one of those upside down you know the bottles that you tip upside down that have the water trays the rabbits will happily drink from one of those if you've got a self-feeding self-watering system with the wee rabbit nipples on them the chickens can't work those though so you have to have some other option for the chickens to get their water and if you want to use lubbing cups or the wee chicken water cup just be really aware that if the rabbits have access to them they'll chew them they'll just eat the plastic, you'll have nothing left. So that's not the best option if you're gonna be keeping the two together. Chickens will try and roost on the top of your rabbit cages and your rabbits will get pooped on. So make sure you've got plenty of roosts for the chickens to actually roost on. Block the tops of the cages so that they can't get up there. Both chickens and rabbits can suffer from coccidiosis. The upside is they both have separate strains so they won't catch coccidiosis off of each other. As long as you're keeping the place nice and clean with plenty of deep litter, the risk is really low. But I do recommend that you treat them with some of the coccidiosis prevention medicine probably about once a month just to help keep on top of that. If you get coccidiosis in either your rabbits or your chickens, they can die. If you're growing meat rabbits, you'll have substantial failure to thrive and potentially a bunch of deaths in the rabbits that have it. I have seen a brilliant video uh, from the Sarlatans farm Polyface Farms where they have a very big setup. It's the size of I think a garage was what they said and they've got a bunch of chickens in there. I want to say maybe 70 or 100 chickens and their whole rabbit operation all up in cages and so they're getting eggs and meat out of this one single footprint and at the end of the year they have fantastic compost in the bottom that's already been turned. It's got all the nutrients in it. But if you're living somewhere that you can put up a shed or if you've got your bunnies already in separate hutches with up on legs, you can pop that in where you've got your chickens or you can surround it with some fencing and put your chickens in there. There are so many ways to make this work and I just wanted to let you know that you can keep them together and it can be a really productive, really healthy, easy system to manage. Mm -hmm.